Hello again, everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a basic application in Flash Builder 4 that will have login authentication built into it. So, we're going to start by creating a new Flex project by going to File, New, Flex Project. We're going to call it Login. We're going to make it a web project. However, we could make it a desktop application, which would run an Adobe Air. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Start with web. Creates all of our source files for us. Opens up the main. And here we have our basic application. Now what we want to do is we want to make this, we want to make it so that a user can go in and log in to our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the components panel we need three things. We need two text fields, a username and password field. So we'll drag in two text inputs. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to take a panel, put that there, put these on the panel, make it look a little better. Okay, we're going to call the panel, we're going to call it login. We're going to call this, we'll give it an ID over here, we'll call it user name field, we'll call this one password field. And now we'll come over here, we need a button, so we'll find a button, put that right there. We'll call this button login button. And we'll give it, it's going to be in all states, we'll give it a label called login. All right? So that's pretty basic. Move this up here. That's, that's our basic application. Now, we'll move both of these over and we'll give them a label so that people will know what they are. Put one label. Username, create another label, password. So now we have our login controls defined. So what do we need to do to be able to log in? Well, what we have to use is a web service. Now the one I'm going to choose is called an HTTP service. We'll use the S HTTP service because that's more current. Now we have to set a URL. So I've already set up a PHP file that will allow us to log in. This PHP file will return XML code that MXML can interpret and it will be in the format it will say result results will equal either 1 or 0 depending on whether the login was successful we also need to set a method Oop, that was wrong method and we want it to be post okay now also while it's logging in we can do some cool things we can have it show the busy cursor and we want that to be true so now we put that to have it send parameters, we need to put in a request. Inside the request, we can set up post parameters. So inside here, we want to put in a username. And the username will equal username field dot text. Then we'll set up another one. Password. It's going to equal password dot text. You can see down here, they're right there, they're right there. It knows what they are. That's going to be our entire HTTP service request. Now, what we need to do here is have this button do something. We want this button to send the HTTP service to login. 
So over here in Flex Builder 4, there's a new feature. You can have it generate an event handler. And what that will do up here in the scripts, it generates MXML and action script to allow you to send your data. So what I can do, I can type in, oh, I forgot to do something. We need to give this an ID. So we'll call this login service. Good. Without an ID, I can't talk to it. So we can say login service dot send all parameters that will send let's put in a comment there that says send in login parameters and then we'll put in here that we'll do login authentication check and what this is going to do we'll put in an if statement if login service dot last result dot result because we've defined that in the PHP code as XML double equal sign one so if it equals one got to put in the open curly brace if that equals one then we're going to say MX dot controls dot alert dot show and what it's going to do is it's going to show login successful. That's all we want it to do. And then we'll say else MX controls alert show login failed. Close parenthesis that. And that is all we have to do. So, if everything is set up correctly, this should run. Allow us to log in. Hopefully. Yep. So, we'll put in the field, which is admin. The password is password. Login failed. Okay, but it is talking to PHP, which is good. So what we need to do now is go and look and see why it failed. Which it keeps doing. So, why did this fail? Well, it could be an error with our PHP code where it's not returning the correct thing. Maybe I mixed it up and it should be zero. So if we run it again, it runs. Login, oh, login successful, perfect. So now you are able to build a login application with Flash Builder 4. Next, in the next video, I will show you how to build an application that will have login authentication and load dynamic images from a website. That's all for now, and I will see you later.